This is Control. We have gang-related violence at the large mansion in West Dyke. All units, please respond. Uh, uh, subject last seen armed and dangerous in a dark green box fill. Heading south in left woods. Can I get you? Hey, how's it going everybody? It's AJ here and I'd like to welcome you all back to some more GTA 4 making moves in Liberty City. And today guys, I want to welcome you all to episode number 6 where we actually return to the uh, main duty of making moves in Liberty City. That being making a lot of bread. <laughs> uh, that goes to say that in the last episode, we weren't really making that much bread. And as a matter of fact, we actually lost quite some money. We lost about a fifth of what we had from episode 4 at the very end of it. Uh, in the end of episode 4, I believe we had around 53,000, and we resulted in episode number 5 of having 43,000, and then we earned about 3k to earn 47,000. So here we are at 47,000, and I believe this episode hopefully might make up a lot of uh, what we need to do here, and hopefully return to maybe 53,000 and above. So we need to uh, really get on the move here um, in Liberty City, of course. But yeah, if you guys have not watched episode number 4 and episode number 5, I definitely recommend you guys check that out because a lot of what I'm going to be talking about here is actually going to be about episode number 4 and episode number 5. Um, probably not that much, but if you guys want to go and check that out to get a deep understanding of what's happening 100% uh, here, definitely go and check that out. It is linked in the top right corner inside of two white cards that will appear. Uh, you will see episode number 4, and then following it, you should see episode number 5. Um, now let's talk about episode uh, episode number 5. What did we gain from it, and what did we lose from it? So in the last episode, what did we gain? We actually bought a whole new car, uh, which is the 1970 Plymouth GTX. We bought it at the dealership in the last episode, so that's what we got. That's number 1. And number 2, we actually got a side job uh, with uh, Bellic Enterprises um, as a taxi driver. And we actually made some little bread here and there by dropping off people, picking up people, so on and so forth. Just being a taxi driver in the middle of the night and actually uh, taking people where they need to go. So that is what we gained from the last episode. Now, what did we lose in the last episode? Uh, we actually lost a lot of money, that being 10000 and a little more due to gas pricing and the car itself. Um, so I actually managed to uh, adjust the gas prices a little bit, as well as the tanks and the amount of gas that drains in a car um, per average second. So hopefully that's a little bit better. It's kind of a little bit realistic as well. Uh, not that you know, not a lot of gas is going to go in an instant, so I kind of changed that a bit. But um, hopefully you guys do like that. And let's talk about a little bit from the end of Episode 4. Um, we did actually gain one thing, and we still have, uh, is the souvenirs that we picked up. So we actually picked up a M4, and we actually picked up some extra rounds. So we did scavenge a few rounds, uh, a few magazines as well from uh, what people had at the very end of Episode 4. We also have an MP5. And we have a Glock 17 as well as a knife. So that's about it. But uh, otherwise, guys, 
Aside from that, we're going to go ahead and jump into this episode. It is currently 10.40 a.m. What are we going to be doing here? So, we're actually going to be starting out episode number 6 by doing a job for Simeon. Um, just a little petty job, you know, something not too big, something not too small. Um, but actually, he needs help uh, repoing a car, <laughs> as always. And in the meanwhile, he's actually trying to build a connection uh, between myself, Trevor, and another associate of Trevor, that being uh, someone called Lester. Um, Lester is actually a very good friend of Trevor's, as it seems to be, um, and Simeon is getting to uh, get some connection between him and Lester, um, and so they're trying to build that connection to get me involved, and that way I can get some more work, that way I can make some more moves in Liberty City, right? <laughs> anyway, so here's the Plymouth GTX, the moment that you guys have been waiting all for. Um, this is the Plymouth GTX. Uh, a lot of you guys were asking about what car mods I have. I will link them all down below in the description if I can. If I forget some, just make sure to remind me, um, and I'll go ahead and take a look at it and try to link it. I think I have all the links to them anyway inside of a text file, so I will go ahead and do just that. But this is the Plymouth GTX. Uh, very beautiful car. I love the tires on it. I love the color that I chose out, and I like the interior. The interior is pretty solid. Um, looks really, really nice. Very, very nice for an interior of this kind, especially for GTA 4 standards. I think cars like this look very, very beautiful. So, um, yeah, we just got this for about, I think, what, 10000 or something like that. So this is pretty good. And uh, we're going to be rolling with this for a while. And then down the road, when we start making more and more moves in Liberty City, we will go ahead and get newer cars, such as like that Mustang over there or a motorcycle, whatever the case may be. But anyways, let's not waste any further time. We're going to go ahead and get over to Simeon's uh, garage in um, Alderney, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, what's a good thing about this series so far is that we have not been um, we have not been on any wanted records, nothing like that. We haven't been known to be on the streets of Liberty City and making moves in such a bad way. Um, so cops have not sent us, so we're good in terms of an, uh, in terms of an arrest record, criminal record, all that kind of good stuff. Um, we've been chased a couple of times, but we have not been known. So that's great. Being unknown in this city is kind of what matters. We want to re make sure we remain unknown at all times. And I forgot to enable this. There we go. We gotta do that, right? Because we gotta play a little bit realistic here. Or rather, this is the, uh, oh my god, someone's getting shot up, right? Well, I'm not getting myself into that. Whatever happened there. But yeah, hopefully you guys have been enjoying uh, the Making Moves series so far. I just want to thank you guys so much for the amount of support that you guys are showing on the series. Um, this series takes a lot out of me. Um, and, I, and I can't lie to you, as much as you guys love this series, I love it too. Um, I think people are running because there was a shooting earlier. I don't know, I think there was like a shooting earlier that I didn't want to attend to and I'm not going to attend to. Get out of my way, man. Um, but yeah, no, you guys show a tremendous amount of support on making moves, and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much uh, for showing support on these kind of videos. I love this series as much as you guys do, and that's why I put a lot of effort into it. Um, so thank you once again, guys. My God, people are just getting <laughs> people are just getting pushed over everywhere, eh? Uh, but yeah, thank you guys a lot. Um, and I, I'm going to try to produce this as much as I can, especially being on summer break now. I can probably try to bump this out maybe weekly or bi-weekly, but no confirmation on that just yet. I will let you guys know in a post, though. It should be weekly or bi-weekly, but I will keep you guys in the loop. It definitely won't be monthly. Uh, that's what was happening when I was in college. It had to be more of a monthly thing than a weekly and bi-weekly thing. But it should turn into something much better. Alright, so we just got out of uh, Simeon's dealership and we're on our way to, um, actually we're on our way to Northwood right now. Uh, that's where he wants us to head to and we're meant to take some kind of Rebla. Um, it is guarded by gangsters, so we gotta be a little bit careful how we handle this. And it's actually gonna be, uh, where is it again? Frankfurt Avenue, so that's not too far away from the public. Uh, so we're gonna have to be very, very careful on how we conduct this operation. Um, but here we go. We're gonna get started. Um... And we're also going to be taking this PMP 600. I'll try to install some more car mods for the next video. Uh, I just haven't thought about installing more. I thought I had a lot, um, but I will try to install some more if I can. 
I'll have to uh, crunch down on the textures though because I, I don't want to get texture loss in this game, of course. All right, so we're gonna go and take a left over here. Keep running, bro. There we go. Okay. People need to realize that I'm the fucking beach out there around here. <laughs> All right, so we just got into Algonquin, and we're actually on our way to um, to that location where the Rebla is. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a right over here. Uh, or no, you know what? I could have went to the end of that road and try to try to sneak in from there. I don't think this will be a sneaking mission, and I think there's going to be some pow pow, shoot shoot, bang bang, shoot him up kind of deal. It's a green light, man. Move. There we go. Good deal, good deal. Uh, maybe we'll go from here, actually. I think we'll take a left here. I'm pretty sure we can hit the fire station as well. Are they next to the... I'm assuming they're near the... Um, the pay and spray garage. That's kind of what I'm assuming here. That's a nice Plymouth. Good colors, good colors. That's a nice Willard. Dodge Charger over there. I was originally going to get a 2009 Dodge Charger as the uh, car that I would buy in the last episode, but the Plymouth kind of stood out to me a little bit more, and I think it stood out to you guys as well, which is good. I like that. I dig. Oh, I'm going to get rear-ended, aren't I? Nope. Thankfully not. Thankfully not. I have not been involved in a car crash ever since I started this mission. Alright. Well, they are going to be near that pain spray garage. Okay, so... How I think I want to take care of this is... I could go behind the wall here, but then they could run around the corner, so it's a little bit... A little bit too bad here. I think I'm gonna keep on driving. If I go on the opposite side of the street, we'll definitely get into some crossfire over there. Uh, let's see. That's them over there, eh? Alright, well, we'll go from here, actually. We'll keep driving, we'll keep driving. Alright, uh, you guys remember this territory? Not a good place. Not a good place. Definitely not a good place. Uh, Simeon doesn't really care about this car. But even if he cared, we'll tell him that it's all the way over here and doesn't need to get shot up. Alright. So, I guess how we're going to have to handle this is we're going to need to go all the way there. Um, now, I wonder... Do they really have someone guarding the car now? Well, if they're gangsters surrounding it, I'll assume that they're probably trying to guard the car. Definitely trying not to get it repoed, right? Uh, let's see. Let's just run for it. Good deal, good deal. Alright, so we are in the projects right now. Let's go and take a look, see what we got going on here. I think we just got a stander by over there. You guys see that? It's kind of hard to see. I should get, like, a uh, binoculars mod or something. Alright. That garage door just opened on itself. Alright, so there's the car right over there. there. That's where we can kind of see it, if you guys kind of see it right there. Whoops, sorry for that. There we go. You guys see that? Alright, so I think we're going to go ahead and try to go all the way here. I don't know why the ground is so bright. Blinding my eyes, because holy crap. Alright. Okay, so ideally what we want to do is um, there would be too much crossfire from here. On this side of the street, all the way to that side of the street. So we're actually going to take the catwalk here. And we're actually going to go ahead and uh, go all the way over here. And then we'll pull out our weaponry. And knock the first guy out. Because I'm pretty sure that guy has got a gun in his hand. I mean, it's pretty visible from here, right? Yeah, he's got a gun in his hand. I can see the nozzle of it. You see? Reptilian death ray. Gotta be. What you talking about? Alright. Not too much cover here, but here goes nothing. And there. Move, 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 move. Ooh. Oh. Alright, we got 
Got one guy on the side of the wall here. Too much, too much close quarter combat here. Alright. Alright, we gotta get moving before the cops get here because just in case they do, we need to get moving. Alright. Alright, no survivors, no survivors. It's kind of the deal here. Okay. Just making sure the coast is clear, that's all it is. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, we can we can go and get out of here. Damn, I did shoot the car up a little bit. It's not too bad, though. Alright, put the seatbelt on, of course, because I don't want to get any damage to myself whilst driving this car. Alright. So we got the car, we're out of there. Thank God. It didn't go as bad as the repoed, or uh, the, the mission where we had to repo the Mustang went, thankfully. Uh, we're gonna have to take it. Oh, what the hell? Oh my God. Okay. We gotta really get moving here. Jeez. Watch the road, AJ. Watch the road. Oh my god, I gotta watch the road here. I'm gonna have to escape these clowns real quick. I don't want to bring them back to Simeon's shop. Last thing we're trying to have is uh, an episode 4 intro. That's the last thing we want. So I'm gonna try to get away from these guys as quick as I can. Please proceed to highlighted route. Hoping we go unnoticed from the police, though. Uh, move out of my way, please. Alright. Please make a U-turn where safe. We're gonna go from here. Turn left. Hopefully they don't show up on the bridge, because that would be very, very bad. Take a left here. Alright, we're gonna take a left all the way here. There we go, we should be good. Whew! That was close. I'm still going to try to evade Algonquin here as fast as I can. There we go. I got a helicopter up there, it seems. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh my god. Okay, we're getting shot at again. Jeez, alright. My goal is to make sure this car does not get destroyed, and it seems like uh, we, we already shot it up a little bit in the beginning there. Uh, I'm thinking about stopping and trying to get, those, get rid of those guys. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to try to do. I don't know, it's a little bit too risky. They probably know I'm heading down this highway here, so I want to go ahead and stop right over here, actually. And try to take them out, just like this. Oh, damn, 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 damn. There we go. Oh, I got shot up a little bit, though. That's not too good. That's not too good. We gotta keep moving. We gotta keep moving, bro. Alright, this got hectic quick, but at least at least we got rid of the got rid of the people who were on scene with us. Or on the on the highway there with us. Alright. Cool. Nice job. 10k, really? And I got shot up a little bit just because of that? Wow. Alright, so we're on our way to the hospital right now. I have to blow these reds really quick. There we go. Right. Alright, so we just got to the hospital. You have arrived. Alright guys, and we're good. Oh that was really, really risky because um 
I literally got out the car and I almost just got, I almost just got, like, killed. Um, so I'm glad I'm okay. Uh, we did get 10k for that, sadly. I think we should have gotten a little bit more, um, especially since we avoided any, um, any other people coming back to Simeon's shop. But yeah, aside from that, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to be ending the video here. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, the mods, again, for the cars should be linked down below in the description, as well as any script mods that I've used in this video. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I love this series as much as you do. So thank you all so much for your patience and support. And I'll see if I can make this thing more of a weekly and or potentially bi-weekly thing. I like it to be more of a weekly thing, so I will do my best to make it a weekly thing, but no promises. But if not weekly, definitely bi-weekly. So thank you all once again. I'll see you on the next video, and uh, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.